Hello and welcome back to my channel, Fabled Thrifting. Today I am going to America's Thrift Store. It's just a local thrift store that's right down the street from all the antique stores. Um, so come on along and let's see what we find. Alright, let's grab a buggy. So I'm starting over here in the game section. I don't tend to find anything, but it never hurts to look. I'm not seeing anything that's catching my eye. Not today. All right. Well, these are cute. Some wild cats. Ooh, I love the color of this. What are you? Um, decoration only. That's unfortunate. These aisles are a little sparse today. I hope they're going to restock soon. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is really lightweight. That's unfortunate. That was pretty. Oh, I guess they are restocking. Alright, we have a bunch of baskets. They have a nice selection of baskets here. If only I needed baskets. Royal Cafe Collection. Oh, they want $20 for him. Hmm. Some ceramic pigs. Oh, this guy has a little chip on his ear. Oh, there used to be someone standing here. Hmm. A fruit basket. Oh, it's attached. Ooh, this is a pretty color. Oh, a lot of the gold is wearing off though. I'm gonna leave that. Some fireman things. Oh, they're from Hobby Lobby though. A little resin pig. That's cute. More pig. <laughs> so many pigs today. Let's see. Oh, this cat's cute. Oh, Kay's Collection. I believe it's a Dollar Tree brand. And there was Ark. Mm. Oh, I like the color of this. That's really cute. This. That's heavy. Only $3? I'm gonna have to think about that. Anything else? So, I forgot to hit record, <laughs> but I found this little toucan, and unfortunately, as I'm looking, o looking him over, I see that his beak is broken. No wonder he is 99 cents. That makes me sad. I really like this guy. Look at him bobble. Look at him go! Alright. Ooh, more fruit! Are these attached? Yeah. Subtil? I've never heard of that. Let's see. A little teapot. Pansy teapot. another teapot? Ooh, oil and vinegar. That's cute. Like I said, the aisles are sparse today. What are you? Pretty color. You're not marked. I'll leave it behind. A little planter. A little worse for wear though. wood section now. Let's see if they have any goodies for us today. Mm. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> what are you? 1974, Sammy Bowen. That's cute. A little wood-burned box. Um, what are you? Oh, you're two people. Is. 
heavy. Oh, it's a rocking horse. Let's get a better look. How cool. I wonder what that's used for. Is it just a wall decoration? What does this say? Coffee? Mm, I really don't like this very much. I'm gonna leave that. Maybe someone else will appreciate it. What is this back here? It looks almost handmade. Oh, but it has a warning sticker on it, so maybe not. It's interesting though. It's got a lot of detail on it. Oh, and a dog? Um, I wonder what this is used for. If you if you know, let me know. I'm curious. Ooh. What are you? Painting? I love the colors on this. Oh, and it's signed. Oh, I have it upside down. <laughs> Well, that makes more sense. That's still really pretty, though. How much are you? Ugh. Seven dollars. Mm. That's really nice, but I think I am gonna leave that. Little boat. Little pirate ship. Oh, it's a Hobby Lobby piece. Also a Hobby Lobby piece. A lot of Hobby Lobby pieces today. Ooh, uh, is this mahogany? Uncertain. Put a little bit of wax on it. It's okay, we can clean this up pretty nicely. It's in fairly good condition. Made in Haiti. How cool is that? Let's get this in the cart. Alright, we're in the plates and bowls and cups. See if we can make it. Oh, this is like a soup in a bread bowl. It's got some dark text. I have no idea what that says. Let's see. Ooh, I like the colors on this. What about you? Ah, cover that. Let's see if we can get this off. So I was not able to get it off, but I did notice that the other one had a chip, so I'm gonna leave them. Rumble Effetti. Never heard of that. Alright, on to the glasses and the mugs. This is a precious moment. That's really cute. Let me get out of this person's way. Ooh, look at the color on the inside of that. I love that. It looks like it is personalized though. Unless that's how they come. I'm actually not sure. But we're gonna leave it. Speckled mug. That's cute. All right, more kitcheny bits. Look at this bagel vice. Have you ever seen one of these? <laughs> That's interesting. A little spoon rest and a napkin. Heirloom tomato salad. Some pepper dishes. What is this? I do not know how to pronounce that. Ooh, a little pineapple. What are you? Tropical punch. Oh, Paula Dean. I know nothing about Paula Dean stuff. So we'll just leave that. More potatoes! These are all signed. This must be a like a little hobby craft from somewhere. What does this one say? Sadie, 1981, maybe? Let's just get that back in there very carefully. <laughs> Made in Italy. So, I again forgot to hit record, but I found this really cool turkey platter. It's got gold rims, and it is anchor hawking, um, and it was only $3.99, so I grabbed it. Moving on to more kitcheny stuff. Nothing really catching my eye there. Mm, nor here. Let's just move on. 
so sometimes I do like to go through the plushies. This time I think I'm gonna pass. This is very stuffed and I know I'm gonna make something fall. Who are you? A koala? A very large koala. Please stay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know if I pull anything out of here, I'm gonna have a mess to clean up, so I'm just gonna keep going. So I was walking by and I saw these guys, and so I had to stop and take a look. They look to be in really good condition. Only $2.99. Fab, Starpoint, made in China. Hmm. Someone's excited about Legos. I think I'm gonna get these. Let's just check this guy over, make sure he's in good condition. Yeah, they both look to be in good condition, so let's grab them both. I'll have to look these up and see what they're worth. All right, so I stopped recording, it got really full, but I did find this bowl. I thought it was plastic, uh, but it was in the kids' aisle, so I thought that was really cool. Um, I saw this Mickey Mouse bag. Uh, there was a lot of cool little trinkets in here, and it was quite heavy, and it was $3.99. This guy in particular is on a marble base. And then I found this burlap wall hanging, which was really cool. It's in really good condition, so um, I believe this was $2.99, so I grabbed that as well. That was interesting. I found a lot of good stuff. Uh, my total spend was $27.42, which is really not bad. I'm pretty sure one of those monkey piggy banks would cover that. So I'd say a great day. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is the haul from the footage that you just saw. I just wanted to show a little bit of um, close up, get a little bit of description and what I found them for online, what they were selling for. Um, so let's get started. So the first item is this wooden serving tray with two smaller leaves. It is in the shape of a leaf and it has two smaller serving leaves and I think it's mahogany. I have a piece very similar that my boyfriend picked up a few weeks ago from the same place and it is this nut bowl. Uh, very good quality. This has a sticker on the back that tells us that it's mahogany. Um, so this is a really cool piece and this is very similar. Did you see me almost drop that? <laughs> this is really similar in the wood and the color. Um, so I'm pretty sure this is mahogany as well. I paid $3.99 for this and I might just sell these as a set. These would be really good for any kind of party. They're great little serving trays and they're really cute. <laughs> so we'll see what I sell that for. So the next thing that I found is I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but it is this turkey platter and it does have the gold around and it's not faded at all, which is really surprising. Um, I paid $3.99 for this. It's an anchor hawking piece. Very heavy, really good quality. Um, I might wait to put this up on my eBay store closer to fall, maybe end of summer. That way it'll get a little bit more traction. So yeah, I thought this was a really cool piece, so I picked it up. So the next two items, if you remember from the video, I picked up two of these little monkey banks. They are little banks and they still have their stoppers in them. I paid $2.99 a piece. And when I looked these up, they were selling between $25 and $35, um, which was really cool because they're in really good condition. I think like Old Navy does, like they release a special bank every so often and they're like limited time so you they become a little bit more valuable as time goes on. So obviously I stopped to look and see if it was one of those and this very may well be one, I'm actually not sure. But this is Fab Starpoint, uh, made in China. But they were selling for pretty good so I went ahead and picked both of them up. So the next thing that I found, <laughs> I'm sure if you watch other thrifting videos, they're always like, check the bags because you never know what you're gonna find. And in my case, that was true this time. I found this bag of, it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of Mickey Mouse pieces. There is a little brass piece here and I'll take these out and show you closer up. I paid $3.99 for this whole bag. So let me break it open and show you a couple of the pieces. This one feels ceramic. He's really lightweight. He does have a chip on his ear, 
Um, he's really cute. Otherwise, in really good condition. And then this guy is a little bobblehead. Well, he's a spinny head, it seems. <laughs> he's cute. Um, this is not a Mickey Mouse. I actually don't know what this is. I will have to do some more research, but he was in the bag as well. This one is a little worse for wear. He's a little worse for wear, but he's a little keychain. He's made of rubber, I believe. He's kind of bendy. He's cute. Now the last two pieces are the reason that I picked this up. Funnily enough, they're of that, that character that I said I didn't know what they what they were, but I did pick them up. They're fairly heavy. This one is made, it has a little marble base. He's like a little, he's like a little metal piece. Let's see, let's give you a close up there. There we go. So yeah. And then the last piece, same character, but this one is a brass piece. There we go. He is quite large, quite large, <laughs> but he's the reason that I picked up the bag because I saw the the brass piece and it was very heavy, so I figured I'd take a chance for $3.99, why not? So the last piece is a little big, I'm probably going to have to stand up to show you, but it is this burlap owl. It looks handmade, but it's in really good condition. There are a couple of things where the material is coming off, it's like made with yarn and looks like um, how you would make carpets, not carpets, rugs, um, how that trend went around and you could like make your own rug, which is really cool. And he's, he's got a little, he, he's perched up on a little wooden thing and this is like, it's bamboo. That's actually um, real bamboo. Um, so I'll show, stand up, show you the whole thing. Let's see if we can get it in the, ah, we can get most of it. There we go. Isn't that cute? And I'm pretty sure I paid $2.99 for this. Let's see. Yeah, I paid $2.99 for this. How cool is that? <laughs> and the last piece, I'm actually not sure if I got this on camera or not, but I was walking through the toy aisle to where I found the monkeys, and right there on the shelf was a bright orange, I thought it was a piece of plastic, because normally that color is, <laughs> it goes hand in hand with plastic. But it is this really nice, uh, it's a little dirty, but it can be cleaned up. It's just like the rabbit, that I found, it has controlled bubbles. This is art glass, I should have said that first. Um, but it's got the controlled bubbles, let's see if we can. You see the controlled bubbles in there? This was in the kids aisle, which blows my mind. I'm guessing someone picked it up and then decided against it and put it back down. It definitely needs to be cleaned. It is, I'm sure you can see that, it is quite dirty. But I only paid $3.99 for this, and you guys know I love my art glass. So I could not pass this up and I'm going to clean it and we're gonna do some research and see. I'm assuming it's an ashtray because it has the little divots, but we will do our research and we will find out for sure. So that was everything that I got from America's Thrift Store. I hope you enjoyed this short little video and I hope to see you back here soon. I did go to Pickers, which if you saw my last video, my last walkthrough video, not the haul video, but the walkthrough, um, I, in the beginning, I panned off to the side and was like, hey, there's another one. That's the one I went to. I went with my best friend. There will not be any in-person uh, chatter because as girls do, we were gossiping. So we'll leave that um, for behind the scenes. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye.